To start, let's show you some of the stuff we're standing next to a whole assortment of drills right here, if you're interested in that. Also, they've got these solar lamps that I'm told are rather popular. It's known as the Tennessee Party Bike, one of only 18 party bikes of its kind in the country. Even in the short time I've been out here, my nose is burning, my throat is burning, my eyes are burning, and my hair smells like smoke. Knoxville is under a red air quality alert. Then today, there are still sites like this one where you can see a tree has come down on this home and it hasn't been fixed up a year later. To my right, we have these lovely supporters modeling some Claire Donahue t-shirts. And to my left, we have her proud parents. And if you look at this table beside me, you've got somebody with a McCafe, a little bit of caffeine to get through those last couple hours. And polls here close at 8. But you know, the charges tell you a lot because you've got rape, you've got arson, you've got theft and you've got murder and that kind of gives you a sense of what may have happened that day. It was so, so emotional here today. It was hard to be in here and not get choked up. Oh yeah, they are relieved, Lori. As you said, we have covered this pain clinic in the past. Neighbors complained that this parking lot was always packed. Kristen, we're getting ready for a real hero's welcome at this Tennessee Welcome Center on I-81 in Jefferson County. Sergeant Michael Trost expected to come back after months in a hospital in Maryland. He's expected to arrive at 6.30 this evening.